What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping back onto that right double ladder for Series 10. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are playing with, in my opinion, the best Series 10 team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. It really does go a long way and it seriously helps me grow as a content creator. So I thank everybody who supports the channel. But today we're rocking out with this Kyogre team. I'm just sick and tired of losing the Kyogre. So I was like, hey, can't beat them. Might as well use them and just dominate the ladder. But in all honesty, that's really not the reason why I'm using this team. The reason why I'm using this Kyogre team is to help you guys push higher ranks towards the end of the season, considering the season ends in about a week. You guys have about a week left, so hopefully you guys can use this team to your benefits and push higher ranks. But getting started with the squad in that top left corner, we have the one and only Kyogre. In my opinion, he's the most dominant restricted mon in the game, or probably the most dominant Pokemon overall in the Series 10 format. He's just so strong, he hits very hard, he has great speed, and he has weather control, which is super, super important in this series. He's got the Drizzle ability to set the rain. He's got the Chewy Scarf as an item to give him a speed boost with his moves. And then he got Water Spout, Scald, Thunder, and Ice Beam. Great move set for him. He has two stab moves, two heavy hitting moves. Actually, they're all heavy hitting. And then two great coverage moves that work really, really well with him. Right next to him is going to be the Serena over here with the Queenly Majesty. And this Pokemon is super, super good in this series because Fake Out is huge and first turn priority moves are huge. So using her just for her ability is great. It just cancels out any first turn priority moves on the field. She also has the Citrus Berry as an item, and then we got Grassy Glide for our stab move, Triple Axle for coverage, Taunt to Taunt opposing support mods, and you turn to pivot out. Middle left is going to be Rillaboom, that's also going to pair well with that Serene over there, because Serene has Grassy Glide, and the Rillaboom's ability is Grassy Surge. He also has the Assault Vest item with Grassy Glide, Fake Out for flinches, Knock Off to take off items, and you turn to pivot out. Right next to him is Weavile, and Weavile you don't really see a lot of, but on Kyogre teams, it's so good. It is just a fast Pokemon, it can hit hard, it has Fake Out, it can hit through shields with Faint, it's just great all around. We got the Pressure as its ability, the Wide Lens as its item with Triple Axle, Lash Out, Fake Out, and Faint for its moveset. Bottom left corner is going to be our Support Mon, he can set up Tailwind, he can set the Weather, he can do uh, Speed Control, and he can also hit hard at the same time, that is going to be Tornadus down here. Prankster ability, Wakan Berry so we can soak up an Electric Shot, and then we got Hurricane for stab that hits 100% of the time in the rain so that pairs well with that Kyogre. Icy Wind for speed control, Tailwind to set up for speed control, and Rain Dance if we want to set up the weather or if somebody changes it we can switch it right back. Final Pokemon on this team is going to be the Water and Fighting Urge Fruit. This thing hits like a truck and again pairs well with the Rain team right here. It is phenomenal, really really strong and can pick up some late late battle KOs. Unseen Fist for its ability, so we can hit through Protects, which is absolutely amazing. I think that ability is, is a little broken, but it's super, super strong. So if, if it's allowed, I'm going to use it. It's just so good. We got the Focus Dash as item, and then we got Surgeon Strikes for Stab, Close Combat for Stab, Aqua Jet for First Turn Priority, and Detect to protect our Pokemon. Guys, you want to try out this team for yourself? Rental Code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that Rank Double Ladder and look to get some wins with the best Series 10 team. Let's get right into these battles. I want that winning record. I want that perfect record. One or the other, we will not settle for less. But we're hopping into battle number one, going up against a Zassian team. And it's looking pretty strong. It has the Entei, the Tornadus, the Landorus, and then he has the Rillaboom and Urshfu as his final two Pokemon. Um, I'm trying to think how I should go into this. I know he has Inner Focus on one of them. I know he has Fake Out. I know he has a Prankster, Sheer Force. I kind of know his team pretty well. But I'm thinking of going into... I could go Weavile turn one. That was looking pretty good. But do we think he's going to lead that Rillaboom? I mean, I'm gonna go Kyogre and Tornadus, and if he goes Rillaboom, I can hard swap in the Serene over here. Kinda of just get rolling, but then, oh, but then if he does go Rillaboom. Hey, let's go here. Let's take out you, let's take out you. Let's go Weavile here. I do like having the Weavile. I definitely want Kyogre. And I think Final Pokemon, I don't even think we're gonna bring Serene. I think we're just gonna bring Urshfu here. I just feel like Urshfu does really, really well. But he kinda of get after us all around. I'm digging it. I'm super down for it. Hmm. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Let's see who he leads. I think the I think the Rillaboom is a must lead. I just feel like a Rillaboom is a must lead, but Weavile can do work on a lot of these Pokemon, so I just I just think having her in the front can uh, really project some some goodness towards us. I, I can't even think of the word. I can't even think of the word, but oh, it can put like pressure on him. Just having this Weavile out in front, because it does a lot of work up against a lot of his opponents. But guys, let me know for question of the day. I think I asked this in the past a while ago, but I always love getting your guys' answers for this question. And that is, if you can add one Pokemon to this game, who would it be? You only get one. Let me know in the comment section down below your guys' answers. Ask me one Pokemon that is not in this game. Who would it be? Add him right now. Add him right now. Let me know. But he, we both go with the Tornadus. I knew he was going to win with that Rillaboom, so it's a good call for me to just go into this uh, 
this lovely little Weebile. I'm just going to go for an Icy Wind, grab some speed control here. And I think I'm just going to fake out onto the Robin. Do a lovely little fake out here. Start chipping up on him. And I think Icy Wind's the call because if he sets up Tailwind, we can slow him down here and just set up a Tailwind next turn with Prankster. I'm thriving with this. I'm thriving with this. I really like this turn. Then I could just drop a Triple Axle on whoever I want. Fake out's going to pop. Mwah. Give him the flinchies. And then he's going to go for a Tailwind. Wonderful. Yeah, perfect. Just what I want. Just what I want. And the reason behind this is now they're minus one. They have Tailwind up. We, we can get up Tailwind whenever we want through the Prankster ability, which is phenomenal. So we get that up. So we will be able to outspeed both these guys. And at the last turn of our Tailwind, he won't have one set up. That's just dandy. I see when it comes out here. We got the flinch. Everything's looking pretty good. Okay, so in this case, we can just take out... Uh, I'm going to set up the Tailwind. And I think we just take out... Uh, we just take out Wilbur. But the wide, lens, the wide lens works so good considering... Uh, we have triple axle here. Triple axle is just phenomenal. It's just phenomenal. Y lens makes us hit two to three times, more so on the three times end. And each time you hit, it does more damage. I think it goes 20, what is it, 20, 60, 90? Something like that. But we're going to set up this lovely little tailwind, get this pop. And I think a grass guy is going to fly through maybe on the My Weavile. We shall see. And no, it does not. We can say probably bye bye this roll boom. Go ahead, hit him three times. We have the Y lens on. Hit him again. There it is, yo. Y lens coming up big, baby. Yo, do this team. This team's where it's at. Let's see what he goes into. He might try to drop a hurricane. He goes for an icy wind and ooh, yo, Weavile with the dodge. Weavile with the dodge. Okay, that's fine by me. I'm gonna drop another icy wind here. I am going to drop another lovely little icy wind. The speed drops for my tornadoes. Um, I think we just like I said, I think we just go an icy wind. Here for Twist Scarf Boy for the back end, which is our Kyogre. And he's gonna send out Dassin. So Dassin's gonna get flying here. We still have our Surgeon Strikes guy in the back. But I just think slowing this Pokemon down could really be beneficial to us. Let's do it. Let's do it. Icy Wind coming in hot. Just to slow him down. And Triple Axle could fly out here. Or we could go for a Lash Out. Lash Out is great. The user stats would lower this. Ooh. It's not very effective on him. I think Triple Axle is just our best bet. We're taking out Tornadus. Let's do it. Let's rip it. Let's try to get rid of this Pokemon. Hopefully he protects his ass soon. That'd be cool. That would be really cool. But I think Weavile should be fastest here. Yep. Later, Tornadus. Get out of my game, dude. We're not dealing with you, dude. Weavile teeing off. And this is exactly why I want to bring in Weavile for turn one. But I think he takes him out here, which, which is totally fine by me. I think he just goes for Behemoth Blade into him. Is that the play? He goes for Behemoth Blade. Go into Weavile. Actually, you don't have to. That's up to you, man. But I think your tailwind ends. It might end soon. He goes into Weavile. So bye bye, Weavile. He's dead. Get him out of our game, but still. Weavile teed off in the first two. Well, onto the first two Pokemon. Took it out at Tornadus and Wilbur. Now we get this Icy Wind. We're starting to lower this thing's speed. And I could bring out... I think I am just going to bring out Kyogre here. I think Kyogre might be the play. We get that speed drop. We have our Choice Scarf. We have Tailwind up and ready to go. And who do I think his final Pokemon is? I mean, I'm definitely going to save this for the back end. But I just think going into here is just the perfect move. Just the perfect play here. Send out a Kyogre finally. Get him in the back end. Weather is ours. And he doesn't have the robe in the counter our Kyogre. He's going to go into Ente. That is lovely, yo. That is lovely. He doesn't have fake out. He has extreme speed. I know he has that. Um, but in this case, we just... Uh, what are we doing? I don't even think we need Icy Wind here. He's minus one. I think we just double down into this thing. I mean, I could Icy Wind, but I just don't see a, a reason to, right? There's just no reason to. So I'm just going to Hurricane and go for the Water Spout. Battle was canceled. There it is, yo. I'm telling you guys, this team, best team for Series 10. Our last opponent legit saw Kyogre come out to the field. He's just like, nah, I'm not dealing with it. Right in the battle. But hey, Weavile dominated there. Weavile's triple axle is super, super strong. Especially with that wide lens, it makes it hit way more often because it's a one to three turn hit. But with the wide lens, it hits a lot more because the accuracy is better. But we're hopping into our second battle here. Let's go back to back. Going up against a Zygarde team with Intimidate, if I had to guess, on that Arcanine. He also has a Tapu Fini for that surge control. And then he has, uh, what is that? My Shao, Clefairy, and Zorok. Okay, Zorok's cool. Zorok is very cool, considering they just announced a new Zorok form for uh, Legends Arceus, and it looks so dope. It really does look dope. I always love the new regional forms whenever they get announced, but um, I probably could just go into Kyogre turn one. I could see Fake Out being, a, uh, being an option here. I might go in with you and you, and maybe just go in with Serene here. Hmm. What she want to do here? I kind of want to bring Weavile. Weavile looks sick here. Weavile looks like he gets some work done, but I think I'm just going to bring in these two. They kind of just roll off from there. I do like this. He only has one fake out user, unless Zoro learns fake out. But I really do think uh, Mai Shao might 
be the lead, and if that's the case, I just swap the category for the screen and then just hurricane onto him, which will be 100% hitting in the rain, which is just dandy. Or, or I can swap my Tornadus and still get off a water spout. It's really up to me. It is up to me. But I have options. I have a lot of options here. Let's see who his lead is. They usually like to lead the Machow. Whoever has a Machow, Machow's usually lead. Yeah, and there it is. The top of Finney is going to come out here. That's cool by me. Um, That's fine. What do I do? I think I just Hurricane and swap the Kyogre. Save the Kyogre for later. I think that's going to be my play. Hurricane's going to hit hard. We're going to be able to get some work done here. And we just... Oh, I kind of wish we brought the Will Boom though. And the Surge, but Serene will be just fine. Serene will be just fine. So, let's just go into the hard swap here. Serene, get back here. We don't want the Fake Out and then him just doing damage on me. And then we'll just go into this... Uh, I'll just go into this. Actually, I could just go into a Thunder... No, 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 no. We're sticking with our guns. We're sticking with our, our turn. We know exactly what we want to do here. We know exactly what we want to do, so... I don't want I don't want to mess it up. I just want to go with my gut. Usually, trusting your gut going with your first instinct is to play. Because when you start overthinking, that's really when you start to lose. Tornado comes out. We avoid the attack. And, okay. Let's go into T off onto Tornadus. And he doesn't actually go for the fake out, which is pretty weird. Pretty weird. Hurricane is going to fly through here. We're going to chip up on that thing and deal some damage. Give me ducks. Oh, it's Zoroke, you son of a biscuit. You dirty dog. Yo, this dude did me dirty. He did me dirty. Get him out of my face, dude. Dude did me dirty with the Zoroke. <laughs> Threw me off so bad. Um, I can U-turn out and pretty much KO the Zoroke, I think. So I am going to do that, and I am going to set up a tailwind. That son of a gun. <laughs> Yo, dude, that threw me off so bad. So we know he has my shout in his party. <laughs> that threw me off so bad. I was not expecting that one bit. Oh my lord. I was sitting there, I was like, why is this super effective? Thing transforms into Zoro. Who does me dirty? Does me dirty. I could have just whooped on him. I would have just kept my Kyogre in there. Snarl's gonna fly through here. That's totally fine. Serene's physical attacking. And Tornasus E. Which is lovely. Special attack is going to drop. Let's see the player. He turns to come out here. And this should KO, right? Yeah, it came. It's beautiful. Okay, so get this Pokemon out my face. We don't want him here. We don't need him here. We have our Tailwind set up, and who should we go into? How do I go into Urshfu? Because I really don't see him going after me. With a Fairy move, or a... Uh, what should I do? Do I go Urshi Ursh? Or do I go Kyogre? Hmm. I'm going to go Urshi Ursh. I am going to go Urshi Ursh here. Alright, so Urshfu's going to come out here. Please do not be sending a Moonblast into the slot. Just for the ice wind, okay. I see one coming out here. That's gonna be able to pick up KO and slow me down a little bit. But again, we have Tailwind, so that's really, really good for us. And he's gonna send out his next Pokemon. Who is his next Pokemon? Who is his next Pokemon? Uh, do we bring out Kyogre here, or do we pose this threat with this? Hmm. What's the play, Jeans? What is the play? I'm trying to think. He has my shell, we know that. We know for a fact he has the My Shao. He probably he's rocking the Zygarde as well, which we do have Ice Beam for that when it comes in later, which will be four times super effective. So I'm, I'm just going to bring in the Serene here. I just think Serene is the play. If he brings out his My Shao, I can certain strikes onto it, and then I can still Grassy Guide over here. Let's see what his play is. I'm going to end up going into My Shao. Okay, so there's finally the My Shao. Um, in this case, do I just certain strikes or do I detect? I mean, he can't fake me out. Never mind. I got my Serene out on the game. Let's just go certain strikes. That should be able to easily pick up KO. And I think we just go into a grassy guide here. Try to get off as much damage as we possibly can. Let's do it. Let's rip it up. And Zygarde has to be the last Pokemon, right? I don't see him taking out my Urshfu. Without my Urshfu at least getting off certain strikes. So his best bet would probably be to protect and then go for Moonblast. But we shall see how this one plays out. We shall see. We do have speed because, like I said, Tailwind is out and about. We have that lovely little Tailwind setting up. That's why Icy Wind's so good. Like, speed control is, like, it's key. If you have a Pokemon with, like, E-Web or, like, Icy Wind against a team that doesn't have a Tailwind or either of those moves, it's just super strong. He's gonna end up blocking you, and what's he gonna go for onto the My Shao? My Shao, he doesn't do anything, and Urshfu should be able to outspeed you, right? Yeah, okay, so we can say bye-bye to the My Shao, no problem. I'm, I'm down with that, man. I'm digging it. I'm digging it all day. Bop. You want another one, boy? You want another one? This one's on the house. Get him out of here. <laughs> Two tap him, get him out of my game. We're down to a 3v1 with still our Kyogre in the back end. 
That's why, dude, that's why Serene's so good. Like, just that ability poses such a huge threat because it messes him up. It's really like, he was sitting there like, okay, what do I do from here? He's really sitting there like, okay, what what, what do I do? Like, I can't fake out. He's going to hit me hard, and he has Tailwind set up. And we're sitting here in our final turn. We have two turns left in our Tailwind, which is just, it's just lovely. It's just lovely, and I think we just go into a Surgeon Strikes onto you, and then we just Grassy Guide over onto this Tapu Finny. This Tapu Wapu Finny. Get him out of my game. We don't want him here. We don't want him here. Tailwind is our friend. Grassy Guide's going to fly. Bop. Doing about half damage, and this Surgeon Strikes might be able to pick up the KO. Let's see. Let's see it. Make it happen, dude. Make it happen. We still have one more turn left in Tailwind, which is enormous. Get some damage. Slowly chipping away. Not going to be able to take it out, but still. Putting this thing down past half. Got a lot. You gotta love it. Okay, so Urshfu is definitely gonna go down to a Moonblast. And okay, this thing's Dragon Dancing. We're just gonna go plus one on speed. I still think we're fine here. I actually hope he takes out my Urshfu. I actually hope he takes out my Urshfu here. Yep, Moonblast flying through. That could say bye bye to Urshfu. If he eats, I mean, that would be cool, but there's no way. Yeah, he's gone. And that's perfectly fine by me because I bring out my Choice Rock Kyogre. And, and, and we kind of just get after it from there. Because a Grassy Guy takes out that thing, no problem, right? Yeah, I think a grass guy takes that thing out. Oh, and this thing's power constructing. Okay. I still think we're fine. With the Tailwind and the Choice Scarf, an Ice Beam should be able to easily take out that Pokemon. It's four times super effective because it's Ground and Dragon. So you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Let's do it. Let's get after it. So we're definitely choosing into that. And we're definitely grass gliding across. We have one more turn left of Tailwind. So I could see a double protect coming here. But I still don't see that Zygarde outspeeding me. I just still don't see that happening. I still don't see it happening because we're Choice Scarf. And I guess he's plus one, but Choice Scarf really boosts the speed here. Let's see the play. We finally get some Kyogre loving out here. He's going to protect you. And hopefully he doesn't protect the Finny. Let's see what he does. He double protects. So he wastes out Tailwind. He wastes out Tailwind turns. And Ice Beam's going to get blocked. And again, I still think we outspeed, so I'm really not worried about this. So I'm really not worried about this. The rain has stopped. That's fine. We don't, we, don't, we don't need the rain. We don't need the rain. The rain more so benefits, benefits the top of Finny. And now is the top of Finny actually able to eat up a shot here? You're going to be cutting it close. Tailwind's gone. The mist is gone. Let's rock it. Let's get after this one. Let's do him dirty. Let's do him dirty here. So here. And what's gone? I don't really see him taking me out. I don't see this, uh, any of these guys really taking me out. Maybe, maybe the Zygarde because he's plus one on the Dragon Dance. But let's just see. The top of Finny might be faster than my Serene now, but maybe not. But Kyogre does have speed, like I said he would. Ice King should be able to pick up KO four times super effective. Oh, no. Okay, we get the freeze. Okay, I'm with it. I'm with it. Yes, get him out of my face, dude. <laughs> I'm not dealing with it. Grassy Guy still outspeeds you. I think this might be able to pick up KO. Yeah, he's gone, yo. Freeze coming in clutch. We would have won this one regardless, but dude, that dude's super lucky there. Super, super lucky. Would we count that as a free focus, Ash? I think so. What is he on? Like two or three? He's on two or three for sure. For sure he's on two or three. But that's gonna be GG, yo, dude. I'm telling you guys, this team is just it's so hard to beat. Using this team, it just makes this game so easy. So if you guys want to push high ranks, I'm telling you, rent this code right now, use it, and go push high ranks in the master tier. Ice Team Five Zero. There it is. GG Zygarde. Get out my face. Kyrie comes in the back end and cleans up this victory. We're sitting at two and oh. You guys know the deal now. We're hopping into our third. Look for that perfect record. We've been dominating our battles for today's video, sitting at 2-0. Let's make it a perfect record and grab our 3-0 victory here. Going up against the Yvelta team, alongside with Ferrothorn, Landorus, Amoongus, Tornadus, and Incineroar. Okay, how should I play this one? He has no weather control. He has no weather control, and the only fake out he has is on the Incineroar. So, I could just fly straight into, uh... I mean, dude, Weavile's looking good here as well. <laughs> I really like Weavile. I could just throw in Weavile. I mean, we are Choice Scarf, so I might just go in with these two. And I think this works out really, really good. Going in with Serene as well. I think we really don't need a lot of speed here. I don't think we need a lot of speed here. I really do think we're fine with speed. But I don't even think we need Tornadus. I mean, he has Tornadus. That's our only problem. Hmm. But then if he does have Tornadus, I can just fake it out and kind of roll from there. So I'm really fine with not even bringing that Pokemon. So final Pokemon, I think we might bring Urshifu. Urshifu's just an absolute dog, dude. He's so good, man. He's so good all around. I love this Pokemon so much. But, yo, I was honestly thinking, like, I just, like, obviously, like, when you lay in bed at night, you, your thoughts just run wild. But I was thinking of making an all-bear team for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Like, yo, we can rock out with Urshifu. We can have Beware on it. 
Uh, what? Are, there's multiple bears. I had a whole list in my head. I was just like, oh, this is a bear. We can use this Pokemon. This bear tick. Like, yo, we could have a whole bear team, and it'd be hilarious. But, dude, we've been dominating this battle. The first battle, Weavile absolutely just did a big old showcase. And the second battle, Kyrie came in the back end and cleaned up everything. But he's going to rock out with these two Pokemon as a lead. And, hmm, how should Jeans do this one? How should Jeans do this one? I could fake out onto the, uh, the Ferrothorn, which I might have to do. Which I might just have to do. Dark Aurora is out and about, so that just raises the damage of Dark Aurora. Triple Axel could come through here. And I'm thinking I'm just doing that, but we'll save that. We'll go for the Fake Out turn 1 onto you. I think we just drop a nice big old Water Spout, trying to get off as much damage as we can. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see what this guy does. Let's see his suit spot. He's going to end up withdrawing the, what's it called? The Whatchamacallit, the Yveltha. That's pretty cool. He's going to go into an instant or and I'm so sorry, man. I deeply apologize. I deeply apologize to your Incineroar. I'm so sorry you did that. I'm so sorry you did that, buddy. I am so sorry for your Incineroar. <laughs> Later, buddy. Later, dude. <laughs> Yo, what was this guy thinking? With a Kyogre on the field to swap in an Incineroar. Get out of my face, dude. What do you think I'm going for? Not Water Spout? You think I'm not going for Water Spout? Get out of my face, dude. Yo, the Kyogre's too good, man. He's way too good. But yo, I'm loving this Weavile, though. This I didn't think I was going to like this Weavile as much as I did. This thing hits hard. He has fake out. He's fast, dude. This thing's an absolute beast. I'm thinking of actually throwing him on my team for Diamond and Pearl. Such a cool Pokemon. Very underrated. But at this point, we're just going to go into a Water Spout and a Triple Axle. And it should pretty much just finish up this battle, right? Right? 100% our play. Triple Axle on the U. Let's Water Spout it yet again. Get after this one. Let's do him dirty. Let's do him dirty. This water spout might be able to take out that fire thorn. It's going to be kind of close. If it does, it's going to be one of the quickest battles I had ever. I mean, I had a battle where I won in one turn. Where I just expanding force with a Mewtwo and the dude quit. <laughs> like, it was just one turn. He's just like, nah, I'm not dealing with that. Took out his first two Pokemon and it was over. But water spout's going to fly here. And look at this. Big old damage. We don't take out the fire thorn. We do not take out the fire thorn, so... Triple Axel is going to be able to fly here, and that should be able to KO you about the no problem. Right? Hit him, hit him third time. Give him the third hit. Dude, Wide Lens too good. It's too good. I can definitely see a Power Whip flying through here, right? Is that the case? Power Whip coming through. Yep, Power Whip coming through. Kyogre, I just hope you die here. And he doesn't. So, Water Spout isn't really going to do anything. This thing has leftovers rocking out. I could swap, which I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of just hard swapping here. I'm thinking of just hard swapping. This thing might protect, and I can definitely see it protecting. And just having another triple axle fly out over onto this next Pokemon. Let's see who he throws. He did throw Amoogus in. Yeah, we triple axle. Yo, this one's over. Let's get this, get, get this guy out of my face. Get this dude out of my face. Yo, triple axle gonna fly here. We're gonna swap just to make the safe play. And do I get out Urshifu? Nah, we're just getting out Serene here. Just in case he wants to go into a power whip. We'll swap the Serene over here. Get the Kyogre back here for the choice scarf in the back end, but I'm surprised this guy didn't cancel. I think he might try to set up some Leech Seeds, something along those lines like that. He's going to protect. See, yo, what did I say? What did I say? I said Ferrothorn. I think he's going to protect. Moogus might go for a Spore. Triple Axle flying through here. Bro, we have Wide Lens. We have Wide Lens and we miss. Well, that thing avoided it, so it's not like we've all missed, but still, what you mean? What you mean? Okay, I see. I see how this game's going. I see how this one's going. I mean, we'll try a triple axle here. This thing might try to set up some leech seeds, all that good stuff. I think I'm just going to taunt them. Just... I just get him out of this battle. Just taunt up on him. We about slumped. He slumped. A gyro ball's probably going to fly through here. We're just going to taunt up on this thing. We're going to get after it. We're going to get after it. I'm not really worried about the Ferrothorn because I have the Urshfu in the back. And Clear Smog is going to fly here. He Clear Smog him. No one I'm going to go for a taunt. Is that his plan? It picks up a big crit. And I think the Gyro Ball might come in here hot. Yep. This Gyro Ball. You can take Weavile out. Weavile's fine. I'm fine with that. You're just digging yourself a hole here. Because guess who's coming in hot? Guess who's coming in hot? Urshifu. And you can't protect up against Urshifu. That's a big problem. That's a big problem. Because you cannot protect up against Urshifu. And then we still have that Kyogre in the back end. And this thing cannot go for Rage Powder. It can't go for Spore. We just have this thing taunted up. So we'll go into the close combat, we'll finish off that Pokemon, and then we'll kind of just roll out from there. The close combat, the U, and then I guess we'll just triple axle across into the Amoongus. And then we have our Choice Scarf Kyogre, who will have that, and there's the cancel. Never mind, I don't even have to explain, yo. He saw the Earth Street, he's like, I'm done with that, but perfect record, let's get it, guys.
This might have been the easiest recording I have ever done in Pokemon Sword and Shield. This team is the best. Like, I, it's there's no contest with it. It is so strong. It just dominates, and we perfectly showcased it in those first three battles right there. One of all, Weavile was very underrated on this team. I absolutely love him. Did a lot of work. Probably picked up the most amount of KOs. Maybe more than Kyogre. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below if any of you guys are keeping count. But, yo, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. And seriously, if you guys want to push high ranks, just rent this team. It is super, super easy. Learn it a little bit. I mean, it doesn't have a high learner curve. Just play it a little bit. Get used to it. And I'm telling you, you guys will be able to push Smash Ball tier and push the high ranks in that tier. But seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.